we got together to make the quilt. It was sort of decided afterwards that we didn't really want to give up doing things like that. It would be nice to have a group where we could meet up with other people again. Right, so this is some needle felt in and it's um, been made into a, a black-headed gull. We have all sorts of knitted things that we're producing for the friends to sell, to make money for the friends for Harbour. So I'm making a scarf which will be like this. It starts as a few stitches and then turns into however far you go. I come out to be with other people um, and to just enjoy these surroundings, like the view we get every time you look up from your needle. You've got such a beautiful view. It's, um, it's very therapeutic. The top picture shows the cannon that would have been on top I went to the Seaford Museum, so that was a, a really nice experience. Sussex Wildlife Trust were really kind enough to offer St Michael's Hospice an opportunity to bring um, some of our patients, and that we've been we've been allowed to come down and use the beautiful Discovery Centre and spend time in this um, gorgeous environment um, with the input from the wonderful staff at the Sussex Wildlife Trust. You know, just to get out for a couple of hours a week, it um, it just puts a big smile on your face, and you learn things learn things, especially people who wouldn't normally come down here. So, um, yeah, you get a lot out of it. A lot of inspiration. For me, I can see that it makes a difference to the people that we work with and, the, and uh, gives them just an opportunity to spend more time in nature and really feel that, that benefit of being connected to nature. We've got nature babies, they come out once a week, just for an hour, and it's about uh, getting mums together, or, or, dad, or dads together, and uh, the babies experiencing what it's like to be in the great outdoors. Being outdoors, I think at this age, at a very young age, is really important. My husband and I, we love nature, we like watching birds, and so we come down to Rye Harbour at weekends, but to come down with Evelyn for an activity for her um, has been really lovely. Uh, with other babies and experiencing yeah, this place but through their eyes is yeah, really exciting. As their little neural pathways are developing, hopefully the, the experiences that they're um, gaining will stay with them and they'll, they'll grow up to feel that sort of uh, connection with nature. I think that it's, um, yeah, the social side is something we'd like to encourage. We want people to come into the centre and if it's a nice welcoming place and they enjoy the reserve on the way here and back again then that's great.